today we're going to upgrade our Alienware 2021 model. Now we're going to upgrade this one to add a second SSD um, slot drive. So we're going to put an NVMe uh, M.2 and see how the well works. So let's go ahead and stick around. If you guys want to know how to change it or how to add it, um, stick around. And then you can also clone it. If you want to get a two or three terabytes, you go, you can clone it with different ways. If you ever want to do that, you know, I did a video on one of the components I have in here and you guys can take a look at it. So let's go ahead and start and see how you upgrade this. All right, today we're gonna to be adding one terabyte uh, Western Digital Black NVMe SSD, fourth generation, one terabyte uh, next to our original one terabyte that we have already as the OS. Now we're gonna create this one for a secondary to save stuff in there. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, a couple of screws that you need to know. We've done the open the unveil of this one before, so just make sure you don't mess mess around with them and lose them, uh, uh, because they're easy to lose these things. I mean, a simple win could blow it out. So if you have a fan overhead fan, make sure you turn that off because that's the problem with these uh, screws; they get lost easily. So pretty much does it. We have that second slot here. If you guys can see it, it goes in this part right here. So on the second slot, you got to make sure that you have the input in here. And um, sometimes some of them overheat and they have the thermal pads for it. But in this case, we don't. We're just going to put it as it is. Now, the button, if you guys know this, there's not that much you can upgrade on here. It's pretty much you can upgrade just the SSDs and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do that. We got to open it up here. Come sandwich in. Take it out. Go ahead and put it in that slot. But before we do that, we're going to remove the screw in here. This is where it's actually going to go in here. Let's get the we'll grab our SSD M.2. Slip it in there. Slip it in there. And this is a little difficult. You got to push it in a little bit. Once you do that, um, this cable here, it's going to probably overlap it. So you got to make sure that it's above it, right? Once you do that, uh, make sure there's no copper showing up in there and it's in better in right then we get our screw that we just put in there make sure you probably have a magnet one all right so all you got to do is screw it in there close it up and that's pretty much it you don't want to tighten it too hard all right just enough and we're going to go ahead and close this whole thing out all right, we're not completely done with the actual hard drive, the, the I mean, not the drive, the M.2 that we have. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. So normally this is what I do. I open my computer and I actually right click here and go to manage, right? Once you go to manage in there, um, simple. You bring this screen up here and I'm gonna show you guys. And then there's a man a disk management, right? Click on disk management. And of course, it doesn't pick up automatically because you normally have to find it in here. If you guys can see, this is the actual drive itself, but it's not picking up in here. I'm going to show you how to set it up right now in a bit. So let's go ahead and start with that. Sure, if you're not seeing your computer in the system in BIOS, um, just make sure that it is picking up your drive. And here we have right now Western Digital. We're looking at it right on the slot number two. Just make sure that it's on, right? Right now we see the original one, the NVMe, the one gig, and then we see the actual Western Digital that we just installed right now. So it is picking up on the actual system, but once you go to Disk Manager, it automatically picked up in here. It's asking you, what do you want to do with this? So you could do a master re uh, report or are you a GPT? So we're going to go GPT partition. And here it is right now, if you guys can see it, we're going to actually format it to um, a simple advice, we're going to take all the settings, so simple volume and go ahead and use all the, the drives, of course, if you want the space drive, assign a letter. We can assign any letter we want. We're going to do D for now. So we're going to go ahead and hit X and then NTFS, of course, you know, if you're going to do older applications, FAT32 can work, but uh, for, for security purpose, and want to encrypt the hard drive, a bit locker, you're going to need NTFS. And then also, if you want to transfer over five gigs files or, or video components, you're going to need NTFS. So that's be aware. If you're not familiar with it, uh, study the system itself or get familiar with the stuff. Now, right now, like I said, we set it up as a RAID, but we could change it anytime we want. But if you do that, you're going to have to 
completely change your actual windows itself so right now we're not going to actually raid the system we could actually combine them so right now we're just going to finish it out and there it is now it's going to pop up right now and as soon as it does, you'll see on my system, it comes up here. So you can start transferring files. Right now, we currently have um, a, a terabyte here and a terabyte here. So we have two drives, type C, uh, drive C and drive D. So pretty much it just popped up as soon as we went to BIOS and set up, because at first it wasn't picking up. Uh, you gotta let BIOS set it up. And sometimes it takes a reboot or so, right? So like I said, you could rate this and control them. You could do a rate control with these two and combine them. Uh, or uh, you could actually keep them separate. It's it's up to you. So if you're not familiar with it, um, you could just do as I did right now and it uh, work fine. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. And if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.